Last time on Tactical Samurai Investigations, we investigated Drugo's Pizza. There was a mysterious topping, a fight in the woods, and we were left with more questions than answers. Romantic troubles loom over Sarah and Mike, the latter not handling the move out west. And Gia and Jane have some ideas about the next upgrade to the Tactical Samurai armor. Our adventure continues in Tactical Samurai Investigations. It's been in development for years. Back in college, G and I met in the engineering program. We designed cutting edge armor with advanced face technology. Which is just a fancy way of saying bullets and high speed projectiles rendered harmless. When Gia and Jane developed the tactical samurai armor, it was a game changer. Rev 1 was good, but Rev 2 is even better. They're already working on Rev 3, but in order to know exactly what needs to be upgraded, we need to practice in uniform. This new case is a bit unusual, which is something I'm realizing might just be our specialty moving forward. Yeah, so this car comes speeding down the road uh, in, the, in the middle of the evening at 3.02 a.m. This guy speeds by and blaring music, punk, punk rock music, at like 50 miles an hour. I don't know what to make of it. It's weaving back and forth. So I went outside just to, to look from a distance and uh, I didn't know what to make of it. I Did you get a, a good look at him by any chance? Yeah, he was kind of like, uh, he had a... Oh, guys, color Thank you so much. You're welcome. First sweet chicken. Thank you. You're welcome. And Italian. Oh, thank you very much. Very welcome. Can I get you guys some ketchup? Yes, please. Yeah, yeah. yeah Anything else I can get for you guys? Sure. We're good. Awesome. Yeah, thanks. Thank you. The guy in the car has a big cigar. You know, he'd been drinking. I'm taking a guess because the car keeps weaving back and forth. Mm -hmm. um, car's got this bright red with white stripes across it. And he has a straw hat and a fur coat on. Fur coat in the summertime? With a straw hat? Yeah, I kid you not. He comes every, every day at 3.02 a.m. in the evening. Okay. Have you seen him before? Well before he started driving by at 3.02? No, just at 3.02 a.m. Uh, every day. That's strange. That's what's called me bizarre. Uh, what kind um, of music? It was like punk rock or heavy metal. Okay. And it's the same music every every day. Do you have like um, audio sure. of it? Sure, yeah. Okay. It's right here. Okay. We're gonna need a copy of that. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. In here? Yeah. I mean, there's not a lot to go on, and we don't normally take cases like this, but I mean, considering everything you did for my cousin Tori and I, yeah, we can do it. We'll help you out. Oh, we'll help you out. I appreciate no it very much. Yeah, yeah. no problem. Sarah and Mike have been having problems. They're newlyweds, under a year, and if they're having issues now, I seriously question the future of their marriage. So when does Sarah get back? Couple days? Okay. I think. Knowing them? Who knows? I know, right? Oh my god, I feel like Mike is just trying to stay there as long as possible so he doesn't have to come back to I LA. I swear, they're like a ticking time bomb. You never know when they're just gonna like blow up and not, I don't know. Yeah, we'll see. <laughs> it's not that I don't like Mike. I mean, I don't like Mike, but I feel like it's not the issue, you know? It was the whole thing with the move. No, he was not happy about the move. Desperately trying not to come back to Like, LA. just like, keep putting it off, putting it off, putting it off. Yep, mm -hmm. which did, is so crazy. He never wanted to come here in the first place. And they knew that before they got married, too. I know. They knew they didn't want to be in the same place. I know. How do you, how do you like, tie a knot like that? and then like figure it out later. 
What are you going to do? Stay with a guy that is unhappy about your job and what you're doing? Seriously, I mean... And it's like, if we're here, she has to be here. I know. I don't... I, like, you should... I feel like you shouldn't, like, marry someone when you literally... Like, you want absolutely different things. Yeah, if they have so many problems before the marriage. Yeah, like, you can't even decide... Like, you can't even agree on where to live. Yeah. Then... The wedding was nice, though. I mean, I love her, but why? I, I love her. I love her. I love her, <laughs> not him. Oh my god. Not that you can talk with your boy. Ugh. I don't. No. Is it forever? No. <laughs> I'm kind of getting tired of him. Yeah, I would too. I would too. Yeah. Um, I don't know what you're doing. Seriously, I mean, um, I don't know. <laughs> you're not one to talk. I'm not loving. Uh, Joe's job. <laughs> don't you mean the rape? No, I mean Joe, okay? I don't care what he says, you do not ask your girlfriend or anyone in your life for that matter to call you by your wrestling name. So when he introduces himself to people, he says the he rape? He calls himself the rape. Oh, that's so good. And he wants everyone else to do the same. And I have to be like, yeah, I'm with stupid. Like, yeah. I need one of those t-shirts. <laughs> like, this is ridiculous. He's so into himself. Yeah, he's really into himself. More into himself than anything else, which is very interesting. I, I know. know someone like that. I don't know. Like, I feel like when you're in a relationship, you... I don't know. I mean, does that sound bad? Like, you're supposed to be more into the other person? Well, I feel like you should be at, at least, least equal. as concerned yeah. with the equal. other person. And I just... God, he makes everyone... Everyone call him the rake. It's ridiculous. It's not even a scary name. No, it's really not. It reminds me of like gardening. gardening. Raking leaves. Yeah, it's raking awful. Leaves. I guess he could like rake his opponents off the mat. Who does that? I don't know. <laughs> Joe. Oh, Joe. Joe does it. Oh my god. I know what you should do. What? You should dump them. Dump them and start dating. That's that's your solution to everything. Yes, it is. Because it's it's right and it's good. And you should do it. <laughs> <laughs> but then you just never, like, you've never experienced a relationship. Yeah, I guess I can't talk. But it's like, it's more fun to just, like, go on first dates and meet people and just see what's out there. And what's out there is not good, but, you know, it's out there and you can experience it. So you don't want anything more? I mean, I've just not met anyone that I would want more with. Okay, I mean, that's fair. Yeah. But... Have you tried? Like, you go on one date and you're like, done. Okay, but... First dates are always weird. They're always awkward. They're always weird, but then it's like some guy is pulling a rabbit out of a hat or like showing me his pirouettes. You know, that's... I can't be going on a second date. I'm sorry, who pulled a rabbit out of a hat? You know, the magician guy. Oh my god. I would have, yeah. I guess I would have ran. <laughs> I would have ran. I mean, I stayed <laughs> for the date. Because I was curious how he did it, but I didn't, uh... Didn't ask for a second date. I think you need to start being a little more picky about your well, first Well, I'm picky date. in the later. Like, that's why I don't go on second dates. Because it's just, I've not met someone that I would want to go on a second date with. Yeah, but if you were picky from the beginning, you wouldn't have to go through those annoying dates. You just go out with anyone. Yes. But then you dump everyone. Yes. Pam Wyatt here from Ninja Galactic Blog Online. If you like what you're seeing, smash that like button. Today it's time for something new. I am going full Gio Violenti. Okay, I know what you're thinking. Why are we showing you a clip, Pam Wyatt from Ninja Galactic Blog Online? Trust me, you need to see it. I have seen all their movies a million times, even Intergalactic Ninja Society 4. Not great, not even good, but once you're a fan, that means something. And then when Chastity and her team branched out into reality, putting their skills to the test for real, that was a whole other level. And the toughest in the group is without a doubt Gia. I'm a martial artist too, so I know what I'm talking about, but more than that, I'm a fighter and I'm at the beginning of my own adventure. So I thought, why not take some of that tactical samurai energy for myself and make it happen Gia style. The car's got this 
bright red with white stripes across it. I mean, there's not a lot to go on, and we don't normally take cases like this, but I mean, considering everything you did for my cousin Tori and I, Have you seen him before? Well, before he started driving by at 3.02? No, just at 3.02 a.m. Uh, every day.